Heat shield set. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. We have timing of the landing engines. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. The sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from Nemoro. Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed.
Hi there. So spring is on the way. Here on Earth, spring is on the way. So there is hope. There is hope for another spring and another, another su summer. And hope is, I think hope is what we need. <clears throat> hope is what we need today after the past year. And uh, <clears throat> maybe you saw the, um, maybe you followed the, the, the uh, descent of the Perseverance rover on Mars <clears throat> a few days ago. And you saw the, the descent and the beginning of this, this video. I followed this uh, live when it happened and my heart started, <laughs> my, 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 um, my heart started beating. I was a bit nervous, but it went well. So <laughs> it really gives hope. It really gives me hope. And I think we should <laughs> try, try to, to see that as a, as, a, as a, really as an opportunity, as a new hope, because it's, because if we can, if we can put down a, car-sized robot on Mars, on a specific spot. Then, are there any impossibilities? We, for sure, we can fix the problems we have on this planet, of course. If we want to, I think we can fix it. If we can do that, put such a rover on, on Mars, we can fix our problems. Uh, <clears throat> today I think it's it's a lot of it's a lot of um, <sighs> it's easy to lose hope both from from an um, environmental perspective and because of the the current situation that we are in, which means that we cannot meet friends and we cannot socialize. And so on, and it's kind of it's 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 to me it's it's beautiful. It's really is beautiful that we humans, we two thousand years ago, three thousand years ago, we have talked about Utsi on this channel before, and during his time, was it five thousand years ago or something like that? Um, yes. Well, but uh, it's. Um, during his time, you know, he had he had flint and steel to make fire. He had a bow and arrow. He had an axe um, with a with a, a copper copperhead axe. And uh, he lived in a time which was completely different from ours. And yet, his you know his intelligence and his mental capabilities were exactly the same as ours today. So what we're seeing, the reason why we can place a rover on Mars, some kind of, <laughs> some kind of ar argument going on here. We are not different from Utsi and his people back then. What has happened is that we have developed our technology. We have had an, a technolo technological evolution. Um, and this technological evolution has, um, um, has made us able to put the rover on Mars. And Utsi could also have done this if he and his people had the technology we had today. So it's not about being more intelligent, it's about being more It's about, well, technology development and will, willpower. So it's, it's, it's very fascinating. I mean, as I said earlier, a few hundred years ago, we didn't know about America, the American continent. We <laughs> didn't know about it. So, so um, and we definitely didn't know about the planets circling around the, the, the sun, you know? We, we thought that the Earth was the, uh, the center of the universe just a few hundred years ago. And just imagine 
what we might be able to uh, capable of in a few hundred years. It's no, we ha it's no uh, problem today to put a humans on Mars. The problem is um, to get them to survive. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> and also they have to, uh, you know, if you go there, you need to, um, need to bring coffee because otherwise you cannot survive. You cannot survive the harsh Martian environment without coffee. But, but one, one uh, interesting thing to, if we um, think outside the box, maybe, maybe in 200 years or 300 years or something, maybe you have something called Martian bushcraft. Martian bushcraft. You know, when we, um, uh, Martian settlers, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, people went abroad to settle on new continents. And um, they had to use the resources they had uh, available. They had to use wood from the forest. They had to use, uh, well, till the soil to plant. Um, and maybe we will, will have settlers. We will have colonists on Mars. Um, that in 1,000 years or 500 years from now, we can look back on that time as we look back on the uh, colonization of uh, the American continent, for example. But it's fascinating. It really is fascinating, the times we are living in. See if I can get some... Some twigs to restart my fire. I got myself a reindeer skin, a reindeer skin. I've been thinking about it um, to get one, but now I, I got this one, which I'm very happy with. Um, the good thing with, with reindeer skins is that they are, it's always a problem to, um, to sit somewhere. Uh, and a reindeer skin, it's, it's warm. It doesn't uh, absorb uh, moisture from, from the ground. I think this is also a bit treated here, treated to not absorb water. And um, it's much more, <laughs> um, well, much more cozier and um, more uh, nicer than um, you know, a plastic, plastic pad. So, really like this one. And it also, it's large, so it's, it's no problem to, <sighs> to rest. And natural, natural materials, I think we should 
we can use natural materials more. So I think we should should do that. I'm very glad you can you can join me. I'm I'm glad you are you are watching. Uh, and uh, if you are if you are new here, if you want, please please consider to subscribe and um, if you want to follow along on on um, my small <laughs> outings in the woods. I will show you this um, this little fire fire pit I have, or it's it's um, it's a foldable um, well something to to protect the ground from uh, your from the heat from the fire. So it, it's like this. Just foldable like this, and it's it's very handy because when you make a a fire, if you want to have a small open fire, uh, but you don't want to to burn the ground or risk the the fire for from um, digging into the ground, you can use this one. So now I just have a little black charred area here that it's uh, much less uh, impact on the ground than if you make your fire directly on the ground so quite handy I am uh, about to uh, to leave now but uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, longer um, trip today and once again thank you for watching uh, if you want leave a oh, leave a comment <laughs> what you think down below and um, yes that's all so uh, have a nice week and uh, I'll see you uh, I'll see you in a couple of days okay bye <laughs> try to uh, look for some, some signs of spring. That's, uh, that's the quest for next week, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you will find some signs. Okay, take care, bye-bye.